What's Poppy Wolfpack? I'm Kiliota. Today is November 17th and I'm here with a distance learning announcement. Let's start off with the recent election updates from Ashley. As of right now, Joe Biden is in the lead with 290 electoral college votes, while Trump has 232 electoral college votes. It should be noted that only 270 electoral college votes are needed to win the presidential election. Here's how both candidates, as well as Kamala Harris, have reacted to the election. If you count the legal votes, I easily win. If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us. If you count the votes that came in late, we're looking at them very strongly. But a lot of votes came in late. All the women who have worked to secure and protect the right to vote for over a century, 100 years ago with the 19th Amendment, 55 years ago with the Voting Rights Act, and now in 2020 with a new generation of women in our country who cast their ballots and continued the fight for their fundamental right to vote and be. I wanted to represent this campaign to represent and look like America. We've done that. Now that's what I want the administration to look like and act like. For all those of you who voted for President Trump, I understand the disappointment tonight. I've lost a couple times myself, but now, let's give each other a chance. Thank you, Ashley. Hey, family of seniors, do you want to swan the yearbook to contribute your child as graduating this year? Well, the yearbook is letting you design an ad for this year's yearbook. You can design it with pictures and a message for your soon-to-be graduate. If you're interested, check out the link in the prices shown. Now let's pass it over for John for your sports updates. What's up Wolfpack? I'm John Sheehan, back at it again with your weekly sports update. This past week, we had some of our own students sign a national letter of intent to play college sports. Let's take a closer look. For women's soccer, we have Taya Guiden signing to Cal State East Bay. For softball, we have Emily Johnson signing to the University of Texas San Antonio. For baseball, we have Stephen Brooks signing to Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. Elvin Delick signing to the University of San Francisco. Trevor Watkins signing to the College of Idaho, and myself, John Sheehan, signing to Grand Canyon University. And for football, we have Moses Oladejo signing to the University of California, Berkeley. Way to go, Wolfpack. That's all I have for you today. I'm John Sheehan, and this has been your weekly sports update. The Dragon Kim Foundation is a nonprofit organization that provides a high school summer program. They offer up to $5,000 to help their students launch a community service project. Applications are open right now until January 10th of 2021. Don't miss out. Well, that's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Kaleota. Remember, the strength of the pack is a wolf, and the strength of the wolf is a pack. Have a great day, Wolfpack.